Now, I can't say that I'm a communist, and I can't say that I'm a socialist. But capitalism has not been working, especially to the consumer. Now, ideally, on paper, capitalism, even communism, has a shot at working. But once you pull that off paper and pass it through a collection of human psyches, which we know on Earth is a sharp-bladed blender, isms change. Most love capitalism due to the fact that it seems fair. You own what you earn and essentially get what you pay for. But this gets tricky when you live in a land such as America, arguably the pinnacle of the planet. The land not only of opportunity, but consumerism. And under capitalism, that places major power into the hands of creators, owners, producers, and even investors. The main point is that there's more consumers than creators. The scary thing about this ratio, if you didn't notice, is that humans learn the art of manipulation before the art of persuasion. And if you don't believe me, you can just see how much sex sells over informative sales in the advertising world. Now you add that fact into a land of consumers and the sum that you get doesn't really have longevity within it. Now I may not be human, but trust me, I'm surrounded by them, be it the fact that I live in Queens. In fact, there's one leaking out of my ass as we speak. And from what I've studied about humans is that they A, naturally want to keep this, this cold life spinning be it by acts of procreation or the will to wake up day in and day out. Now B, once awakened, they do all that they do to either gain love, be it to harness it or share love, or because of a lack of love, hence envy, apathy, and so on. Relic secured. C, strangely, they seem to consistently work from the outside in. Let's just say that as a collective group, they try to make a cake from the icing into the batter as opposed to the batter out. One heavy example that I can lay down is that interstellar studies and space travel really exploded in a time of war, due to war really, which is over wonder. Which fattens my point of manipulation being over persuasion. And as a wonderful witcher told me and Trish Marigold, the wise war is a contradiction. Politics, at its optimum, in my opinion, is supposed to substitute war. One of the main functions of politics is communication which means deeply rooted communication means a lot. In fact, one of the books behind me, Conversations with God by Neil Donald Walsh, which isn't a religious text, states the root of all discrepancies. Double kill. There's two main roots of all discrepancies based on this book. One, the inability to communicate truthfully or two, the inability to observe fully. Now every time you see a major war or a breakup, divorce, quarrel, what have you, know that one or two of these things, or both, is occurring. Which leads me to why I'm here. It's about the games. Capitalism can work. But it only could work if the collection of consumers are educated on their market in which they choose to invest. And if the developers, producers, and creators are truthful about their process and execution, delivery. Ways that can be more truthful to me 
is cutting back on DLC and season pass dependency. Unfinished alphas. There's a new relic. Go and get it. This week I saw the Call of Duty trailer. And I just got to thinking. There's a comparison between Donald Trump and Call of Duty. They're the epitome of cheap capitalism. A lot is happening right now. The PS 4.5 has been announced and you guys can tell me how much PS4 exclusive have dropped. And if considering that number a new console or a .5 to a console is necessary. I'm really interested in knowing what you guys think about this, so share this video, comment, New relic and once again, have a nice week. Americans are so fat, even the rats and pigeons, we sugars and fats, I go to the doctor, say my toe hurts. I saw some medicines on television, I think they helped me. What do you think? I eat a lot of hamburgers and drink, smoking. I don't meditate beneath the waterfalls for dozens of days. Almost like a master self minus the motherfucking test. Also meditate in guano caves. There's so much ammonia there, the smells on me for days. Samurais got rewards like pots and lands. Slaves got whipped and punched in the face and shit. So